already. Just put a little fire in the riser since it's a cold stove. And since we're filming, <laughs> just to make sure the draft goes the right way. Otherwise, it probably would smoke out here for a second until it figured out it wanted to go that way. So I just put a little piece of paper towel in there with some uh, bacon grease from my cast iron pan. And that ought to do it. Once I'm sure that's caught, I'm just going to... Try not to plug it. Especially right there. You want air to be able to get up underneath there in that tunnel. But we want to get her hot right out of the gate. Catch it on the upswing and let her keep keep going. We'll see how she does here. See if we can melt this thing down. It's going to smoke like crazy at first. There's a lot of stuff in here to burn off. Boy, there's already no smoke out of the riser, though. Although that'll change when it gets hot here in a sec. Wow. What a machine. Making a great sound. Right up and running.
All right, I'm gonna try closing this door down. I might mess up this shot, something terrible, but we'll see what happens. I suspect that might put the fire out. That's too... Too much restriction? Maybe not. Yeah, it needs some air. That might be just right. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, yeah. That appears to work nicely. That's convenient. All right, so it's just getting going now. It's been lit about, I don't know, five minutes. This is the Peter Vandenberg batch box in the Walker Aluminum Series. Portable, shippable stove core or standalone burner engine for your outdoor kitchen, your cob oven, outdoor heated seating area, handles on it, throw it in the rig, take it camping, throw a barrel over it, build all around it, build on top of it with bricks. This is the first of a series of modular pieces. There's the Six inch J. Been boiling water for a little while. Optional handles on that one. This one has casters on it, optional as well, and handles are optional. If you were going to build this with a barrel, you wouldn't want those handles on there, but um, they'd probably survive for a little while. So it doesn't look like it's doing much, but I just tried to look in there and heard my hair singe. It is probably <laughs> a thousand degrees at the top of that thing or near it. And it's only just getting going. I could be exaggerating on that. I doubt it. But you can see there's quite a bit of activity going on here. So I've got the door kind of cocked open right now. So it's getting a little extra air while it heats up. And uh, you can see this is brand new. The first burn. The riser is black inside. That's going to turn white here, I would expect, before too long as it heats up and burns off its binders organic starches and whatnot. I'm really excited that I finally can share these with you guys. It's been so frustrating to not be able to send you something. I can put these in the mail and you can put the bricks inside yourself.